Take it away, y'all. Hello, hello, I'm Soulmass218, and today I will be running Neon Beats for you all. Neon Beats is a game from 2019 for PC, released by OKYO Games, a small developer out of France. I have a couple friends with me today who are going to be joining. Uh, first up, I have Big Scared. Big, you want to say hi? Hello, hello, I'm Big Scared. I'm a queer writer caster here on Twitch. I play a lot of scary games, and I also speedrun this game. Thank you for having me. And also we have Do Left Hands. Hello, um, I'm Dual Left Hands, a uh, toddler streamer. I've played this game a bit, uh, and yeah, I'm just basically usually challenge runner. Not really speed, but sometimes I indulge. So for Neon Beats, there's actually an original base game, which is free to play. It's these levels right here, the tutorial plus levels one through three. Also DLC levels, which you can buy for like two bucks on Steam. Unlocks levels four through eight. Uh, we unlocked the all music notes category, which means going through all these levels, we will be collecting all of the hidden music notes. There's one in the tutorial, three in each level, and we're going to do everything as quickly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and get the run started, and I will give a countdown. It will be in three, two, one, go. So this is a game with a gameplay that is fairly simple. You have three buttons, left, right, and jump. Uh, along the way, we are going to introduce more complex mechanics, but you can see already that we are going to wall slide, fling ourselves, um, lots of physics-based uh, puzzling, but everything to the beat of the song. Here we have our first music note. Uh, what this does functionally is it adds additional layers of components to the musical track, and it adds more reactive elements as we go. Each music note uh, in tracks that have multiple music notes adds a different element to it, and so the song becomes more complex the more you add to it. This is the first stage with three music notes, so keep an eye on, or an ear out for that as we collect them. It's worth pointing out that the game is a precision platformer as much as it's a music platformer, so there is no coyote time on any of the inputs on, say, any of these ledges. Uh, if I press an input too late, I fall right off the edge. Yeah, I think that's an important thing to emphasize here. This game is much more of a rhythm. I mean, much more of a precision platformer than a rhythm platformer. Rhythm is a vital component, but the precision is what's key here. And so you have to be on cycle, you have to know the phases of the song, and you have to react with the right timing to execute and maintain those cycles. Yeah, some parts of the songs will have different effects on some cycles. We'll see them in the, in the next level. Where some some beats are going to be faster than others, but it's not it's not uh, frequent. And the cool thing about the way this game progresses as it goes through its various stages is that it builds upon the fundamentals it's establishing. So as you can see, this level already has stacked multiple elements that we've encountered. It's got the bubbles, it's got the chains, it's got the floating platforms, it's got the spike traps, it's got the precise drops into the various uh, yeets, I like to call them, the launchers. Um, it requires wall jumping, and all of these things are just going to ramp up in intensity as we go. Yep, that's one death so far. I am going to donate a dollar for every death in this run. Ooh. Nice. So we're going to start to have some more um, booming musics. Yes. Uh, the beginning this stage, of this is it's highly cycle based too yeah this stage is extremely cycle based and it has much more emphasis on rhythm than some of the other ones do and we'll see that as it plays out with our various bass drops in this level drops being both literally uh in the music and in the, in the environment as you can see here No 
And we can see the alternate routing of the All Music Notes category in motion here. Um, as we ramp up difficulty, Lux will have to execute more and more precise stunts because some levels will be auto-scrolling. Some will have threats. Uh, I'm not gonna give away the spoiler there on what those threats are. Uh, some will just really have really intense spike patterns. And as you can see here, the execution oh. is intense. I wanted to show off that cycle skip, so yeah, took, the took the thing there. <laughs> Very cool trick. So you will, you will fling, like balance yourself uh, left and right to reach some notes, some platforms. <laughs> Uh, but there is this mechanic where you can use your momentum to just keep going, just barely touching your rope to keep the to keep your speed going, and then yeah, not having to 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 start to, to fling again. Yeah, and that's pixel perfect inputs. If you don't hit the jump input the moment you grab that chain, you're not gonna fling appropriately or fast enough to execute those quick flings. I wanted to do that jump out of the box as well. I'm practicing for a, a frame perfect input on a box jump later. Nice. I think I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> All right, Can five deaths. hear a drop sound sometimes, uh, a watch drop. Oh, do you want to talk about the beginning of level three? Ooh. So this is an auto scroller. The good thing is that you have an incentive to just go go ahead very fast. The problem there is that if you die, you are sent dozens of seconds back. There's no checkpoint until much later here. So yeah. that's fun. Typically when the cadence of a song shifts, that's when you've reached a checkpoint in the level. And so when you start with a difficult auto-scroller section like we started out on this stage, it can set you back up to 30, 45 seconds depending on which specific auto-scrolling segment we are stuck in. Um, the same is true for various rooms that have forced momentum like this one, where you have the threat at the top that you have to get past fast enough while still cycling through the rest of the room quickly. Yeah, even without speedrunning, you basically have to be perfect. And we have some very risky jumps in these stages to collect the music notes, as you can see here. It should be noted that dancing in the box is serves no purpose, but is cool and thus required. You yeah. also notice the in-game timer stops when you're in the box. Mm -hmm. But if you party too much in the box and you jump too much, uh, when you come out the end of the elevator, you can get an additional lift, which is what Lux was practicing earlier. That was a very clean finish. That Kudos. Was Thank you. Oh no, you're not going to donate. <laughs> I'm already up to six, so we're, we're doing good so far. This is the DLC levels as, as well starting up. Things are about to get spicy. Now this oh, I is love so those. much harder than it looks. <laughs> it is. I tried that for the first time, getting that music note last night. I died 45 times. And, the drop. and you just made it look so effortless. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite part of the level, speed. Until no more speed. <laughs> Listen, it's a sacrifice we have to make for vibes. Yep, need the music notes. This one's hard to, it's hard to grab sometimes, but we got it. Yeah. Very clean. If you miss it, you gotta restart the level. We don't want to do that. Now, don't forget. Don't mess it up. We gotta get the next one. portals and I was automatically like don't forget <laughs> uh, 
Can I drop? So good. So good. That's fine. It just clicks. Very well played. Please. Nice. All right, we're going into level five. This one's one of my favorites. I like to call it level vibe because it's really chill for the most part. There's not really any of those fast sections, but there's a lot of precision platforming. It also introduces gravity mechanics. Yeah, fans of VVVVV might feel at home in this stage. Good cycle. It is absolutely beautiful execution there. Whoops. <laughs> Until I hit that little spike. <laughs> Listen, it's still beautiful. Yes. <laughs> that's another dollar for the yep. charity. Also, that's there's also this the beginning of uh, alter paths and levels. Yeah. Yes. What I was going to say. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Tragic death. I'm going to do this jump just for Big Scared. Yeah! Ooh, yeah. Hey. I love that. That was beautiful. Good. And there's a very tricky drop. That is so hard to get. Got it. Beautiful. <laughs> that saves a little bit of time, getting the frame perfect jump out of the box. I'm discovering tricks as I watch it. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing a lot of ILL runs, so. I've learned a lot of new things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you are doing great, honestly. All the cycle saved, all the. This things. is the worst room in the game for me. I hate this room. This I room love is that so one. rude. This room is rude. And you did it so well. I usually grab the rope from the other side. We go to the top rocks, it's faster here. Got the small bounce, that's good. That's even faster. And we like fast. Got here before the box even opened up. That's beautiful. That is up there. Very vibe, indeed. So much vibing. Y'all call it vibing. I say it's anxiety with a lowercase a. <laughs> it's just ah. I mean, it reminds me of the. The soft water levels that you get in 90s games like Rayman, it's this little yeah. small yeah, I rhythm. Yeah, I those levels and I just hear Sonic, okay? <laughs> Not the same kind of water levels. Okay, okay this is my favorite the, level. The three last ones, the endings of each is just perfect. This one is my favorite because the momentum in this stage is so satisfying. Has good music too. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to this level as flight because you spend so much time airborne. There's our Trapangle friend. Shout out to Trapangi. We love them. Okay, the truck. Yes. It's so good! <laughs> the jump, the jump seems easy, but you got to keep in mind, uh, just jumping a little too early or too late, you're gonna just bounce into those fights. Yep. Even missing one of those speed boost arrows can be deadly. Exactly. It looks very straightforward and very Otis curly -er, but very not. There's implied pressure on this level that makes it feel like an auto-scroller when it isn't one. It's really interesting. It's all about photos. That! Nice. You just made that look effortless! That is so hard to do. It's so hard. <laughs> Tighter than it than it looks. This room is a lot harder than it looks. Especially it that very last looks step. hard. <laughs> it looks hard already, but oh, so much room for failure. Okay. My nemesis, tiny platform. Tiny platform. Oh, 
tiny platform is tiny. Now it's time to learn to fly, gamers. I hope you're ready. It's so good every time. It is. And again, all of these jumps require a good timing. You can overshoot that last platform. Oh, it's so easy to overshoot that tiny platform. And even if you jump from the wrong place, if you make the tiny platform and jump, jump from the wrong position off of it, you're still gonna mess up that final launch. You know, I know that that note's there every time and I panic every time. <laughs> this level is panic inducing for me as well. It's very tight on a lot of the jumps. Okay, the flings here, you can technically do the double fling. It's very precise. It's so precise, so we don't it's go for it. Scary. No, no. Because <laughs> if you miss it, you have to start the cycle over again, and that's a good two, three seconds each time. I've hated it so long. Always overshooting or undershooting. This Rude. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. That brings me up to just... 10 deaths, mm -hmm. I think, now. Um... I've been keeping count. <laughs> uh, you got 6, 7, you should get 9, I think. I'm gonna call it 10. Yeah. Very well played. All right. Very good. I'm gonna take a moment to hydrate. We're going into the hardest level. Y'all wanna yeah, talk about this? Yeah, the last one is brutal. So Biggs was talking earlier about losing 30, 45 seconds. The first section of the of this last level is going to be 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And none of them are safe. Yeah. And this is extremely precise, momentum-based, forced auto-scrolling with precision jumping and evasion. Um, and it's not a linear path. It's not a straight left and right, so you can't just slam the right button. And additionally, these jumps are so easy to over and undershoot that you need to know exactly where to jump on the platforms to execute this movement. Some jumps are almost blind. Yeah, and that was very well played. This room, that though. Good. This room. That was the hardest jump in the game, and it doesn't look like it is, but it is. Flawless execution. Okay. You have a gamer. But it's not safe yet. It, it's only going to get worse from here. This is the easy part of the level still. Because we are reaching the... Ropes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, so good. Flawless oh rope. God. Okay. Y'all don't even know. Dump. This is. Oh, effortless. Oh Incredible. God. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, off the side of the platform. Chat, you don't know. You don't even know. Don't forget. Don't forget. I'm not forgetting. Beautiful. Right. This is all music notes. <laughs> Let's go! I have to take that death. It's faster to take the death. Yeah. Sometimes getting yourself out of the situation you're put into when you're going for the additional music note uh, is just not worth it, and so you take the strategic death for time save. Now this last note that we're gonna have to get here is by far the most clenchy one, so everyone hold your breath. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> easy, easy. Shout out to everyone who donated here to make sure that all the notes got caught. 
That was our final note of the run. Now it's just gonna be clean and precise execution. Mm -mm. Um, again, yeah. We gonna send climb energy. Again. Here comes the climb. This room, I always bonked against the thing and died. Like 50% of the time. Hey, young dog, I heard you like flight. All those jumps are, like, not quite pixel perfect, but most of them require, like, less than your hitbox. Mm -hmm. Now, Tiny Platform has a chance here. Oh, incredible! Nice. And we're good. Beautiful execution. But, you can that's all music again. notes. End. Time. <laughs> Very clean. And that is technically a deathless level eight because the, the one is a forced death. So um, I, I was saying before the run that I might donate extra if I got deathless level eight. I got deathless level eight. So that's an extra nice. 20 bucks I'll throw in. Very well played. Uh, I do want to thank Big Scared and Do for hanging out with me today. Big, do you have any final shout outs? Uh, yeah, I want to say shout out to you and to Do and to Power Up oh. Glide. Uh, you can catch me around the internet as Big Scared or I'm Big Scared, depending on which platform you're looking at. Uh, I'm also around the Binary Breaker server, Fatals, Lady Arcaders. I, I live here. You, you probably find me around. Do any final shout outs? Um, not really. I think Base got it covered. Uh, don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Biggie pretty I mean, much covered everything. I, yeah. I do want to definitely give a shout out to uh, Power Up of Pride. Thank you so much for having me at the event. It's a great charity. Please keep on donating, everybody. And thank you so much for unlocking all music notes. This is a great run. I need to actually go back in time this because it might have been a PB. Um, Let's but go. we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll be back later to play Shadow of the Colossus Racing Shadow uh, Titanus Nix. That's going to be a lot of fun. So if you'll see me later if you hang out. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.